guys, today I'm going to be doing my makeup and hair inspired by this gorgeous dress that I picked up today. I was kind of driving along and I saw this really cool steampunk styled um, store. So I went in, I bought a few things and I found this dress and I absolutely love it. So I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm going to film a video today inspired by this dress. So here it is. So this is my, it's almost like rock 50s inspired I guess. Vintage looking kind of pin up but kind of rock kind of goth if that makes any sense was actually very easy. I think the makeup, if I wasn't explaining it and just doing it without fast forwarding or anything, it would take me about 10 minutes to do this makeup, so it's really easy. I'm not 100% sure where I would wear this dress, unfortunately. It's like most things I buy, I buy them and I'm like, oh, I love it, but I don't know where I'll wear it. So if you have any ideas where I'd actually wear this dress or go out in this dress, please let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, so if you want to see how I did this makeup and hair and my outfit, then stay tuned because I'll show you right now. First thing I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this one right here, which is just a very, very light color. And we're going to just pat this on our eyelid up to the crease. I'm just going to use my finger to apply this. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Natural Palette. I'm grabbing Silky Teddy, which is just this light pink and it's kind of shimmery. It's not sparkly, but it is kind of like shimmery pearly, if that makes any sense. I'm just going to get this on my brush and we're just going to pat this all over the base we just put on. And then I'm going to be going ahead and taking Push Up, which is right next to it. Get a little bit of this on the same brush and I'm just going to slightly blend this in our crease. Over the top of that I'm going to be grabbing this dark brown colour here and this one has no shimmer in it whatsoever and this is just going to add more definition to our eyes and make them appear a little bit bigger. We're just going to get this and very lightly we're just going to dust this in our crease where we just put push up. And now I'm going to be going ahead and taking my gel liner and an angled brush. We're just going to be creating a slight wing. So we're going to line our eyes, the top lash line, pretty thin. But coming towards the middle, we're just going to make it that little bit thicker and then do a slight wing on the end. And now I've just cleaned my angled brush off and we're going to go ahead and take that dark brown we used in our crease and I'm just going to grab a little bit of this on it. You can skip this step if you want but I find with me, I think I've mentioned this in a few videos now, if I don't have anything on my bottom lash line I'll look like an alien just because my eyes are so big. We're just going to get this and very very lightly we're going to dust it on our lower lash line and you don't want to be going near your waterline because that will close our eyes up and we want to keep them as wide as possible. So now I'm just going to go ahead and curl my top eyelashes and that mascara and I'm going to be applying my Demi Wispy eyelashes by Adele over the top. And now that we're finished with the eyes, we're going to move on to our eyebrows and I'm going to be using my brown eyeliner and all the products I use will be linked down below like usual. What I'm going to do is just fill in the gaps and give them a little bit more shape. So I'm just going to go ahead, just very lightly. I And when I'm happy with the shape of them, I'm going to be using my Sigma Clear Eyebrow Gel just to keep them in place and we're going to go over the top of them. That'll just stop them from moving. I've already done my foundation and if you want to know how I do my foundation and concealer routine, I will link that down below as well. And now I'm going to be using my blush and I'm just using this one here by NARS. I like a deep pink colour and we're just getting a little bit of that. And I'm just going to apply this.
I'm also going to be going ahead and using my highlighter by Topshop and this one is in uh, Crescent Moon. Getting that on the same brush and just very lightly dusting it just on my cheekbones. I'm also going to go ahead and take a little bit of this and just apply it underneath my eyebrow as a highlight. And so for my lips, I've got this red lip liner by Jordana and this is in the exact same red colour that's on my dress so it matches perfectly and this is in plush red. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and fill them in and then apply a lipstick in the same colour. Okay, so now for hair, I've just taken my hair out and I've brushed it and it's gone kind of frizzy, so just ignore that, that's just from the humidity. We're just going to separate this front section right at the front of our face right here. And I'm just going to clip this here so it doesn't get in our way. And then with the rest of our hair, I'm just going to brush it into a ponytail. I think my hair is a bit too long to do any of the really cool hairstyles with it that are really retro. So what I'm just going to do is I've just turned my Madiva curling wand on and I'm using my big one. This is this is a 32mm one. I'm just going to grab larger sections of hair and I'm just going to curl the ends of them and hold that for about 7 seconds. You get a curl like this and I'm just going to keep doing that and you want to keep doing it in the same direction. So once your whole ponytail is curled in the same direction, I'm just going to get it and kind of twist it. So all the curls, because we did them in the same direction, they just kind of form one curl when you kind of twist them. Just give it a spray so it stays in place. I'm going to take this clip out and we're going to work with our fringe. Get it and I'm just going to get my comb and I'm using the small section and we're just going to back comb it just to, so it has way more volume. So once we've done that, just want to get that and we're going to pin it back so it's kind of like got a bit of a poof going on. And so some of you may like having that little tail out and some of you may not like it, especially if your hair's a bit longer. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to wrap this around the base of our ponytail so it covers the elastic. Sneak a bobby pin in there. And then of course get a bit of hairspray and just make sure everything's going to stay in place. I like to spray my hair and then run it through these side bits and that'll just hold all these little flyaways back. This is the final look and I hope everyone enjoyed this look. Let me know what kind of look you want to see in my next video. And don't forget to check out my Instagram, my Facebook, my Facebook like page, my blog and Google Plus down below. All my links will be down there as well. If you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!